The number one question I get all the time is how do I get more water damage leads? Today we're going to talk about the fastest way to get more water damage leads in the next 30 days. Let's get into it. This isn't just any podcast. This is your secret weapon for dominating the market. This is the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast. And this is your host, Sean McMean. Welcome to episode number 37 of Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast. I am your host, Sean McMean, and today we're going to talk about the number one question I always receive is, how do I get more water damage leads? All right, so we're going to talk about the fastest way to do that in the next 30 days. So this is going to assume that you don't have a Google business profile. That's the number one thing you wanna make sure you have, that you are getting reviews to that profile, that it has water damage restoration as your main category. If you don't have a Google business profile, go to google.com slash business and set up that profile for your business name. Now, once you get that Google business profile set up and you have water damage restoration as the main category, make sure you fill out all the details they're asking you. Logo, name, phone number, website address, if you have one, if you don't have one, not a huge deal, put in your address there. Get it verified. Typically, you're after gonna do a video verification in order to do that. Check back on my previous episodes about all the Google business profiles set up, but number one, you gotta have a Google business profile so when somebody searches your company name in your area, you show up. That's number one. Get reviews to that profile, number two. Reviews from everybody you know that will recommend you as a person, as a company, uh, that you're, you're a stand-up individual, that you provide an amazing service, okay? Number three, make sure you, once you get that Google business profile set up, or if you already have one set up, that you sign up for something called Google Local Service Ads. If you go out there and search Google Local Service Ads, or it's also called Google Guaranteed, sign up for that, link it to your Google uh, business profile. These are pay-per-call um, um, leads that you can that you can purchase and dispute if they're not legit. These leads are much more cost-effective than pay-per-click ads if you don't know how to run Google pay-per-click ads or Google PPC ads. So that's the next step. After that, you have those two profiles up. Over time, you're going to start having two top positions there. But you can't really get there until you actually have them set up and optimized. Okay? So make sure you set them up, get reviews to them. That's the first step. Now, at the same time, as you're doing all of these steps, because it's going to take some time to get all that set up, you want to make sure you're telling your friends, family, coworkers, anybody and everybody what you do. This is one of the things that I see that's that's not done so many times. People just assume that that they know that everybody knows they do water damage restoration work or that they do mold or fire or roofing. They don't. They don't know that. Their lives are busy. They're consumed in everything else they're doing, and they don't know that. So make sure that you post it, and you post it uh, at least once a week, if not twice a week, that you do this work. And don't post the same exact thing every single time. Post you out there doing work. Post you have post of your equipment. Post it on your personal profile. If you have a wife, if you have a significant other, um, post it on their profiles. Spread the word. If you have local Facebook groups that you're a part of, make sure you're watching those for any people asking for help. All right. So spread that out. Make sure you have business cards. Number one. And make sure you have, if you don't have a truck that's branded, make sure you have a magnet on either side of your truck and on the back of the of the vehicle as well. Then you also want to get some pens. So people love to have pens, right? So business card pens. Have those with you because the next thing I want to talk about is networking. So you want to go out. If you're not doing work, don't stick behind a computer and think you're going to do SEO and all of these things and building a website. Do not do that. Go out and network. Join. You don't necessarily have to join BNI groups, but visit them. There's a million BNI chapters around, so go visit them. Introduce yourself. Network with people. Talk to people. Join the Chamber of Commerce. Do any sort of meetups that you can do with other business owners so that people know who you are. Bring your business cards. Bring some pins. 
you show up there at the thing with the magnets on your car. Don't look like a <laughs> a hoopty car, but put, put uh, a nice effort into the magnets that you have on your car if you don't have stickers or you don't have something branded. Um, clearly, if you have a branded truck and, and whatnot, bring that everywhere you go. That's, that's number one. So um, the next piece of this is connecting with plumbers in your area. Make sure you go out to Google search or go to um, any sort of, uh, you know, I guess chamber of commerce site or any, any sort of directory, go out there and search for plumbers in your area. And what you want to do is you want to be um, reaching out to them, but make sure you're not reaching out to just any plumber. Um, plumber relationships are good, but these, some of these big companies, like you're wasting your time on that. They just, they, they're getting hit up all the time. You want to mainly look for the smaller companies that are doing like residential work and, and service based work. Um, if they have a bunch of trucks, more than likely they already have a relationship with somebody and you're not going to overtake that relationship, uh, overnight. So make sure that you are looking for the small companies that are doing residential service-based work and not necessarily like um, not companies that are doing construction work or new builds or something like that there's a difference in, in those companies there's a difference between commercial companies too don't go after the commercial companies and when you do this build a relationship with them by first introducing them and connect on a um, on a personal level meaning there's got to be some sort of thing that you can connect with them on, like whether they are follow the same sports team, look them up on Facebook, um, friend them on Facebook, reach out to them and say, you know, hey, I, I own a water damage restoration business. And, you know, I thought we, we, could, we should be able to connect or I thought we, we would connect. It'd be a good idea. Right. Um, just ask them if they ever experience any sort of um, water damage or. Um, floods or anything like that and if they ever need any help I, you'd absolutely be uh, willing to help them out uh, and, and you know provide that sort of entry point and don't expect anything back from it and expect that you're going to have to follow up multiple times at the end of the day some of these guys are going to want a referral or kickback some of them don't some of them just want to meet a guy another guy or gal that's amazing in the industry right so you really don't know what that what that connection point is going to be you just have to try multiple things um showing up with some donuts you know, you know <laughs> that's that's an option but uh it, it's it's if you're it's not always the best option right so uh email introduction if they're on facebook an introduction that way um back to the facebook and social media side put on your personal facebook page that you actually do this i know most people use their personal personal facebook page as family related things or twitter account or all those things make sure you're promoting your business on there and um put it put it in your cover image or whatever that you do water damage restoration in a specific area so that when when people connect with you they know why they're why you're connecting with them um so so plumber relationships are are a big part of a long-term strategy now what i promised you at the beginning of the session was how do you get more water damage leads the fastest um and the fastest way within the next 30 days so the fastest way to do this is by talking to people reaching out and talking to people setting up those profiles online letting all your friends and family know that you provide the services Make sure you have some business cards and pins to hand out. Make sure you have a branded shirt on. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of equipment to start building an empire, right? Um, so if you have a large company right now and you're not doing some of these things that I talked about, you're not doing the networking piece or you're not doing the Google local ads or you're not doing Google Maps. You don't have a Google Maps set up and you're not getting reviews to that Google Maps. Or if you're not joining um, you know, Chamber of Commerce or any meetups or BNIs, you're missing out components that are extremely important for you to really dominate that area. That way you have multiple channels. Internet marketing isn't the only channel, but you also want to be doing on the ground marketing and being strategic with your time that you spend it and going after relationships with people that you can provide value to and at the end of the day that um, that you're not looking for that sort of kickback right um, to me it's about relationships mainly and and when you once you build those relationships they're going to send you referrals right 
um, and then on top of it, you're going to be promoting your company uh, to multiple, promoting your company across the internet as a as a go-to provider in your area. So hopefully this was helpful. This by no means is an all complete encompassing list, but I promised you within 30 days, this will make a difference if you're hitting all of these areas. Here's the thing though, don't stop doing the work that if you've already got work, work these in as a priority um, as you have time to do that or ask a significant other or ask a coworker or ask a business partner to help with these things so that you have a team behind you or work with a company that provides those types of services and they're specifically specialized in your industry. So that way you don't have to pay them to do these things, right? So so there's many companies out there. Uh, again, I own um, Restoration Marketing uh, company, but there's many companies out there that focus in the industry. Many of them are very good. Some of them um, that are generalist, typically you got to pay them to learn how to do it. So um, there's many providers out there that will talk about um, building plumbing relationships. If you go out there and search for water damage plumber relationships, you'll see several people out there. I've even learned information from all of those people, right? So, but over the last seven, eight years, you know, I've seen it. I've seen many different types of relationships being built, many channels of, and ways to in, in, improve the number of jobs you're going to get, especially the water damage restoration jobs um, and water damage leads. So, hopefully, this was helpful. And until next time, this is Sean McMean. Looking forward to have you uh, follow me along with this journey. Talk to you next time. You've been listening to the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast. Sean's not here to just talk the talk. He's walked the walk with a track record of helping over 70 damage restoration companies and engaging in over 500 conversations with industry owners. He's seen it all. From digital marketing triumphs to the most ingenious growth hacks, he's got the keys to the kingdom and he's sharing them with you. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, for more, hit the website at restorationmarketing.com. See you next time on the Restoration Marketing Secrets Podcast.